it's the most iconic card in the hobby, in my eyes. It's, it's the Mona Lisa sports cards, you know? It's a piece of art. This could be the last chance to get in on a 52 Mantle. I don't own one, I'm gonna look for one today. National is brought to you by Midwest Cards, the official wax sponsor of Sports Card Investor. With an amazing selection of wax on their website, check them out at MidwestCards.com. So I want to go around now, and I'd like to see I'd like to see a handful of these 52 mantles. Sorry, man, it's already crowded in here. It's early in the day. The day just started. Gosh, my my voice is. Uh, you know, it's struggling a bit. That, that's just the sign that you had a good national, right? The voice is uh, showing the wear and tear a little bit of that, but it's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm looking for some of these 52 mantles. I wanna, I wanna try to compare several of them side by side, look at different price points for different grades. And of course, eye appeal is so important when it comes to these types of vintage cards. All right, I'm looking up prices of these 52 mantles. I've been looking on market movers, trying to see what they've sold for recently, trying to get an understanding of the market. The buzz on the show floor these last four days has all, all been about that Mickey Mantle SGC 9.5 that's at auction right now at Heritage. And the reason why, I mean, this is probably gonna be the first $10 million plus card ever sold, and I do think it will refocus the hobby on the 52 Mantle as the iconic card of the sports card hobby. More so than the Hannes Wagner, more so than the 86 Jordan. This 52 Mantle, man, it's, it is gonna ride king coming off of this sale. It's gonna ride king maybe forever. So Doug here found a couple of dealers who've got 52 mantles that he thought were good looking copies. They're in that, you know, PSA 3 to PSA 5 range that I'm looking for over here. So we're gonna go take a look. Good, Jeff. Quick. Can I take a look at this? Do you mind if we talk about this actually? Do you mind if we mic you up to talk about it? All right, Quinn, so you've got a 52 mantle here, 3.5. Yes, sir. Tell me about this. Beautiful piece. It's a PWCC top 30%. Okay. Uh, so I appeal on this one is considered higher absolutely. than the I mean, typical 3.5. The color on it is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the left to right is probably 50 50, but top down is like close to like right. 70, 30. Often when you see the lower grade mantles, they've got a major left right Correct. centering problem. Yeah, absolutely. And I think visually, you want the left right centering to be good. That's the main thing for me. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Up down doesn't matter as much visually. Not as much. This so. looks like a really good copy. And the, the brightness of it and the blueness. Yeah. And that's the first thing that we look at is the brightness of the colors as well. You're asking on here is 125. Yes, it's sir. probably a little bit high compared to absolutely. market. But what would you honestly, what would you like to get out of this? Probably in the 95 to 100 range, okay. like straight cash. You know? 95 to 100. Yeah. Okay. All right, Quinn, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna walk around and look Absolutely. at a few others. Congratulations on having such an awesome piece. Oh, thank you, man, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Sasha, good to see you, man. What's up, man? How's everything, dude? Good, dude. Chilling? I'm hunting for a 52 Mantle today. Yeah, they're around, it's just yeah. it's hard to get in. But... They're hard to get, they're, they seem to be pretty hot right now. Yeah. So, good luck, anyway, appreciate I it. See one. Thanks, Sasha. All right, bro. Yeah, have a good show. All right, Seth, you got a couple of mantles here that are looking good and they're right in my range. You mind showing these to me? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Prices here, we're asking 78,000 on the okay. two, and that's a PWCC top 30. Okay, so that's a nice, that's yeah. a nice copy. And the four is 140,000. Okay. Um, so obviously, like one of the most iconic sports cards there is, right? Yeah. Everybody asks about it. Really clean looking card. I actually like the eye appeal of the two the most. Yeah, yeah. The crease is what really takes it down. Yeah. Without the crease, um, you know, this would be, in my opinion, is probably a superior copy to the four. So you're 78 on that, 78,000. I know that I've seen some threes recently, like if you look at online sales, sell in the 50s and the 60s. Yep. They may not have had quite the same eye appeal. Yeah. Um, where, how, how negotiable are you on price on that? Probably come down to like 70,000 cash. Okay. Yeah, no, no, you've got the 9.5 that just went off, and I think that's it's really gonna. It's, yeah, it's one yeah, of those that you're a little hesitant right. to yeah. sell. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's exactly. what I've heard from other dealers. All right, well, I appreciate that. So that that's, I'm gonna look at a couple others here yeah, and then probably make a decision today. But yeah, I really absolutely. appreciate it. Thank appreciate you, Seth, very much. Yeah, absolutely.
product. Man, these dealers have high prices on the 52s, and look, I understand why they do. Uh, everyone, just like me, is looking at that 9.5, saying it's gonna set a record. And uh, so they're all building that into the price point. I get it. I do wonder if there's a tricky play right now on getting another key mantle like the 51 Bowman. Some consider the 51 Bowman to be his true rookie, the same way that the 84 Star Jordan, some consider it to be Jordan's true rookie, as I covered in my video the other day. So I wonder if the 51 Bowman prices have really moved or if you can still get those at recent comps. All right, I'm at the Memory Lane Auctions booth and they've got a mantle PSA 5 which they've got, at, they're asking 125 for this, which compared to some of the other prices I've seen today is in some ways more reasonable, but this is not the best looking, you know, uh, PSA 5 that I've seen. It's a really great grade. The colors maybe aren't quite as vibrant. Centering's a little bit off, um, but with the way these are being priced out now, 125 for a five, that's kind of intriguing to be able to go up in grade compared to some of the others that I've seen Dan, I've been seeing your stands all over the show floor today. Even that huge $35 million mantle card has one of your stands on it now. That's incredible. Unreal day. And then I bet you saw the really big stands at the Whatnot booth that we I had did. put together. This awesome is awesome, stuff. man. Congratulations on the success of your business. Guys, this is Dan with Stand Up Displays. He makes all of these incredibly awesome stands for your cards. Everything from real simple and real affordable PSA stands and also stands for top loaders as well. You know, really cool looking custom stands like that. You know, like look at these things right here that you can get on his website. You can even get your own custom design made on the stand as well. And hey, the best part about all of it, you can save 10% right now by going to standupdisplays.co and using promo code SCI, 10% off of everything on Stand Up Displays website. Business been good for you, man, at the it's show? Been an awesome show. That's Love seeing awesome. everybody here. It's been great, dude. Great traffic indeed. All right, cool. I got to go continue my, my hunt for a mantle, but I'm glad to see you're doing so well. Awesome. Take care. Thanks, Jeff. I saw these earlier, and I had texted you some numbers, you know, that I thought would be fair for these. Yeah. Where are you Where are you at on these in terms of what you want? So this one, I was at 12, 50 on this one. 50,000 on that one, okay. Yeah. And then where are you at on this one? That one's 100. Wow, a hundred, a yes. hundred on the 3.5 here. Yes. Okay, are you are you firm at a hundred on this? Yes. You're firm at a hundred. Okay, yeah, and that's the one that I really want. He was thinking maybe we hold this, wait to see how the heritage one does. Okay, if we can get a hundred, fantastic, we'll sell it. If we can't, then we'll hold yeah. it. Yeah, okay. That was where. The yeah, a hundred, a hundred's going to be too high for me on yeah. that. I under, I appreciate and understand what you're doing. Yeah. It's the same reason why I'm kind of interested in picking one up right now. Absolutely. But I'm not going to pay that extra premium. Yeah quite at this point yeah, so okay I understand and that was the primary one I was after these others are beautiful okay. but you see them more often yes this was the primary one I was after yep. um, that's a really nice 51 Bowman I will say that but 50 is 50 is too high for me on that one would you do the last comp on that or the 42 8 I might I might pay the last comp price on the 51 Bowman because I do think that's a really nice copy Okay, so you called your business partner about the 51 Bowman Mantle. Yes. And the last sale of that was 42,000. Yes. This, this is a really nice looking copy, so I'd be willing to pay that. You had said 50,000 on this. Would he be willing to take 42,000? Yeah, I think he'll take 42. He will take 42 on that. Okay, okay, let's do that. All right, 42,000, I like that. I think that's actually a little bit of like, a sneaky play in that everyone on the show floor, including yourself, is anticipating that the 52s are going to rise in value when that record sale happens, and that will be the case. But when the 52s rise in value, will it also help the value of the 51s? That's what I'm banking on. It's a little bit of an end around. I love that copy. Unbelievable eye appeal. Awesome. 42,000, let's get that done. Well, I'm sad that I couldn't get a deal done here for that 52 mantle, but that doesn't mean I won't still be looking for one online. But this was a beautiful consolation prize. This 51 Bowman mantle, I'm so excited I got it. Absolutely magnificent eye appeal with how sharp that image is and how bright it is. I'm gonna cherish this card for a very long time. Special thanks to everybody who stopped me out here to say hello. So many fans I got the opportunity to meet 
and I truly cherish each and every one of you. It was a wonderful event. Got some great deals done. So much fun at trade nights and doing trades and deals with with people all over the show floor and it was awesome to see all of the kids here. The hobby is alive and well. It is an exciting time to be part of it. Good job, buddy. The days ahead are going to be even greater. Take care.